All right, well, let me, let me start by just welcoming everybody uh, to the Varsity Training Center uh, here at Broken Arrow High School. Uh, I'm Steve Dunn, the Executive Director of Athletics, and um, today we are excited to uh, welcome a family to ours. And uh, we'll get to coach in just a little bit. Uh, before we jump into it, I do want to recognize a few people. Uh, first, our Board of Education, President Steve Allen, Vice President Steve Majors, Clerk Brandy Roulette, Deputy Clerk John Cockrell, and member Jerry Denton. Uh, our superintendent, Dr. Janet Benson, her entire leadership team is here, associate superintendent, Mr. Chuck Perry, and, and many different administrators from, from the service center. We appreciate you guys coming today and supporting uh, Coach and his family. Uh, our high school principal, Ms. Crystal Barber, her administrative team, uh, we appreciate you guys. In Broken Arrow, uh, there's a culture of student engagement, and there's a, a true belief in education-based athletics. And that's what today's all about. Uh, the last group, most important group that I want to recognize are these guys right here, uh, our student athletes. Um, guys, we wake up every day and do what we do because of you. And today's all about you. I want you to know that, okay? So as a part of this process, we had a chance to visit with some references, probably my favorite part of the process. And I talked to a couple of former players of, of Coach Josh Blankenship, and it's gonna get dusty in here because I know how he is with his players. Uh, one was uh, Tariq Bitson. He's a 2016 graduate from Booker T just up the street. Tariq, um, in 2019, was an AP All-American. He was the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year. He led the entire country, NCAA Division II, in receiving yards per game. Uh, but when I called him and asked him what would his message be to you guys, this is what he said. He said, First, Coach Blank is family-oriented. He will do whatever he can for his players. You're going to have a lot of fun playing football, and it's going to be a lot of hard work, but you've got a coach in your corner who cares about you as a person first. And I haven't shared these with Coach yet. Next, I spoke with a, a young man named Chad Hobass. lives in Colorado Springs with his wife, and he was a two-time Harlan Hill finalist. That's the Heisman Trophy of Division II football. Did a lot of great things on the football field. Uh, he, too, was an AP All-American. Um, he was also an AFCA All-American, led the country in receiving yards, receptions per game. Again, phenomenal student athlete. But when I asked him, Chad, what would your message be to a group of young men who are going to meet their, their head coach for the first time? He said, well, coach has been like a father to me. He never accepted anything less than my best. He brought the best out of his players, both on and off the field, and he's my head coach for the rest of my life. So I think that's, that's what led us to today. Josh's unmistakable passion for using this game as a vehicle to have a, a legal lasting legacy in you guys. But make no mistake about it, it's setting a high standard of excellence every single day. And then holding you guys accountable to meet that standard every single day. And when you buy into that process right now, that's where championship culture and that's where championship football begins. So it's my privilege to announce the head football coach of Broken Arrow, Coach Josh Blankenship. I think he did that on purpose, get me all emotional. Um, the hardest thing about leaving a place is uh, leaving those relationships. And the thing that makes up for that is the hope of new relationships. And First of all, I gotta thank everybody that took some time with me. Um, Mr. Perry, Coach Dunn, and Coach Melton, and Miss, Mrs. Snyder, um, knew her by a different name in high school. Um, and then Dr. Vincent and the board. Um, I'm blown away by this opportunity. <sighs> this, place, this place is home to me. Oklahoma is very, very special to me. And to be able to bring my family here um, is, is what excites me the most. This is unbelievable. Um, the talent is unbelievable. Um, and I can't wait to visit with you guys here in a little bit. Um, but I'm just, I'm humbled and I'm grateful. And I'm excited about what we're going to do um, and the way we're going to do it. Um, I'm excited to build on the culture that's already been, uh, been established here and been grown here. Um, the tradition here is, is unbelievable. I mean, as a little kid, um, I was a ball boy for my dad, and I'd go try to catch those PATs and field goals falling down uh, the tree down there at the end zone over at Kirkland. Um, 
but a, a legacy is something that we're going to be uh, focused on. Uh, and the way that we're going to do it is, is by creating a culture. And there's already an incredible culture here that I just want to add to. Um, the way we're going to do it is we're going to develop men. And it's going to be hard. And the standard's going to be very, very high. Um, but the reward is, is worth it. Um, we develop men, and then we create a culture of family. And that's, there might be other ways to win, and you can go all across the country and, and hear different ways on how to win. That's how we're going to win. And we're excited about it. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this with you. Um, I can't say, say it as good as Coach O, but go Tigers.